I grew up in uh, San Fernando Valley, California. Um, just living a pretty normal life. And in my 30s, uh, I was invited to a sweat lodge. I went there and I had already had a love for the Mother Earth. And I found that, I was told that the sweat lodge means womb, and it's the womb of the Mother Earth. So I like the nature, I like the, the nature of it all. So I, when I went into the sweat lodge, I didn't know if there was a God or spirit or any of that stuff. I was agnostic. So I went into the lodge not knowing and I came out knowing something invisible loved me. I felt something in the lodge that loved me. And it changed me. And I was never asked if I was Indian before that in 30 some years. Then the next day I started getting asked if I was Indian. Several times a day for about a year and a half. And I got devoted to Sweat Lodge and I went every week. I couldn't wait to go to Sweat Lodge again, every week. And uh, everything was magical. I didn't start leading lodges because I wanted to. I never thought I would. I just loved going to them. And then an elder was, was getting tired. He was doing two sweats a week. And he needed, he asked if I would start leading sweats for him. And I was honored and I didn't know if I, it was a big commitment. I knew it was a commitment for the rest of my life. And I spent a lot of time, some weeks in nature, vision questing and asking for what, what should I do? And then it came to me that um, it wasn't the man asking me to lead sweats, it was the Mother Earth coming through him, asking if I would hold the lodge for her. Like, I, I feel not like a sweat leader, I'm just the bucket monitor. There's a bucket of water in the sweat lodge. We pour water on the stones and we sweat and it purifies our bodies. We sweat out toxins, it purifies our minds, it brings things to the surface of our awareness that may be things that we need to address that are making life hard for us and don't honor the, don't honor the earth. And so we can look at things in the womb and feel in the safest place in the world. I just create the space best I can, call in all the love I can get into that, try to help people open to the Mother Earth's love and, and healing and, and to see their beauty. Everyone is a shaman. Everyone is connected to the Mother Earth and to spirit. Uh, but we've been taught not to believe in that. So the mother, the lodge and the Mother Earth can remind us and bring it to the surface of our awareness that, that we are sacred and important and precious. So that's my call, to make the world better for the grandchildren. <laughs>